Hello everyone, and um, today I wanted to talk about our 10 frame. And here's a 10 frame. Now you could, if you don't have one, draw your own on a piece of paper, if you want to. Uh, just draw your own there. Two, three, four, and there you go, you've got a 10 frame. And if you're wondering, yes, it's just a 10 frame because it's a frame with 10 spaces in. Now I've got um, this, uh, I've got this 10 frame and we've got these um, in school, but like I said, you can draw your own. Now, we like to use these double-sided counters with them, but you could use, um, you could use uh, buttons, you could use uh, sweets, I think I saw someone at home using some Smarties, you could use toys that stand up in the 10 frame, you could use whatever you would like. So, the way you use a 10 frame is you use it to represent numbers, so you might say, okay, can you show me five? And that helps children get a visual representation for a number, and it helps, obviously, they're practicing their counting. Um, you could represent it like that. You can also use 10 frames to represent and you add them on in pairs. So you do them in pairs like that. So you've got two, four and one more. There we go. Um, you can use it for addition. So what you might say is we've got five and we're going to add uh, two. How many is that? Five add two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there you go. Now, um, I used a different colour, which can be really helpful for when you're representing on um, a 10 frame, because then you've got five add two. If you don't have different colour, you don't have to, because it still gets you there, but just that def different colour or maybe a different object just helps really cement that you've got two different groups that you're adding together. Now, you can, of course, then challenge your child to represent their number, we had five, we added how many more? Uh, and you might like to tell them this is the addition because they might not know what that is yet. And you can write that for them or they could have a go um, like this and then they could get the answer. Now they might be able to, they might count them all individually again, one, two, three, four, five. They might be able to say five, six, seven, and that's where we'd like to work towards eventually, that they can start on any number and count forward, which is why lots of counting from any number at home is really important. So if you're practicing your counting, practice counting from um, any of your numbers. So you could represent it like this, you could represent it um, in a, a, a with dots maybe, five, and you can do it like this, um, or you could just, they could just draw a picture five, six, seven, how many is that all together? They could just draw it like a picture. Uh, so, you could do them as a subtraction as well. It gets a little bit trickier. So if you've got five and you take some away, you could do that. So we had five red and we took two away. How many reds do we have now? So five take away, two is three. And you can represent, you could use a um, 10 frame to help you with that. So have fun exploring with 10 frames at home. Bye. Bye.